in Cleveland, Ohio, there's lots to see and tons to do. But I'm here for one reason, and that's to dig into the Mod Mex at Momocho. This restaurant's climbing to the top of my list thanks to their contemporary, one-of-a-kind take on traditional Mexican. From their addictive guacamole made with poblanos and goat cheese to their mouth-watering beef brisket taquitos. I'm ready to eat if you are. Let's go. Tell me about Momocho. There's absolutely nothing like this in Cleveland. It's the only place that you can come and have true Mod Max. You have a choice of so many different walks, so many different drinks. This place is amazing. The way he puts a twist on Mexican food, I, I don't know how to do it. I don't even ask questions. So just eat it. Just eat it. Eric Williams is the man behind the Mod Max craze. His dishes riff off traditional Mexican in a way that's establishing him as a culinary vanguard and making Momocho the sort of restaurant you plan your next road trip around. Pork chops, huh? Pork chop, I'll cover them. Covered in what? Mole sauce. It's a little spicy, but it's delicious. More than just a little, but thank you very much. <laughs> Tell me, what you have in The goat cheese guacamole. You think goat cheese and guac, how is that going to come to be? But the ingredients, the poblano peppers, the, everything that comes in with the tomato, amazing combination. They also make fresh chips to order. They deep fry them, obviously. They put uh, cumin and salt on them, and, and there's nothing like it once you get that first basket on. They're still warm. I know that you guys do modern Mexican. What does that even mean? Taking something that you may be familiar with and putting a modern twist on it. For instance, the guacamole. Yeah. Everyone knows that it's avocado, cilantro, jalapeno, lime juice. Yeah. But what if we added goat cheese and poblano and tomato? This is what I want. We're going to start with a base. A fresh, creamy, fatty avocados, yeah. good goat cheese, and fresh poblano peppers. OK, let's do it. We're just going to take some vegetable oil. Yeah. We're going to kind of rub the pepper. We're going to leave them on the char grill for about six to eight minutes. Nice. Look at the skin. See how it's like blistering off? Yeah, yeah. They're done. The skin is all carbonized. They're ready to rest. So we can start our guacamole. Let's do it. We're going to take the avocados and split them, take the seeds out. That's a beautiful avocado. Garlic, fresh lime juice, and then some salt. Why am I doing all this? Let's jump in there. Now, do you want a smooth guacamole? Do you like some lumps? I like a balance. So this is our guacamole base. Great. Now we're going to add fresh minced cilantro, diced Spanish onion, and jalapeno. So then we're just going to mix in the flavor. Now we're ready to add poblanos that we took off the grill. See how the skin just kind of comes right off? Open it up, and I want those seeds to come out. Quick dice. Add this to our guacamole base. OK. Some goat cheese. That's going to add a little bit of funk and creaminess. Fresh tomatoes. Give that bowl a stir. Now we have a goat cheese, tomato, and poblano guacamole. We're going to put it in these nice little ramekins. A little bit more of the goat oh, cheese nice. and put it on top. Garnish with a fresh lime. And then we're going to serve that with our chips. May I? Dig it. OK. Oh, yes. It's so tasty. The guacamole in itself is delicious, right? It's creamy, it's rich, it's fatty. You get the nice chunks of tomato in there. You get the poblano, which is like grilled. You get the smokiness of it. Goat cheese and guacamole is forever my new favorite addition. That is amazing. Awesome. It is guacamole to a next level. Awesome. Oh my god, it's so Thank good. Thank you. Tell me about the machaca. Oh, it's beef brisket, ancho pepper, and coffee. Um, I don't know how long he marinates this or rubs this. Whatever he's doing, I don't want him to stop. Keep rubbing the keep, brisket. Keep rubbing that brisket. It's so tender. It's like a party in your mouth. Yeah. You OK? Do you need a little bit of time? Do some time. OK, no worries. Do some time. The machaca taquitos. Yeah. Look amazing. Most popular dish requested every night. Really? Tell me what machaca is. So machaca is a spiced, slow-cooked braised beef. We start with a full five and a half to six pound beef brisket. Beautiful looking brisket. We're going to start working on the spiced rub mixture. Ground coffee. OK. Kosher salt, ancho chili powder. OK. Mix this together to form the rub. I'm going to sprinkle this on if you want to kind of massage this into I the will. meat a little bit. I will do that for you. And the next step is we're going to cut this into smaller pieces okay. so we can control it while we grill it. Cool. The flame from underneath is going to start rendering the fat, Okay. start caramelizing the beef. 
The smell of that coffee and the ancho chili right now is just yeah. filling up the room. All right. Time to build the braise now? Yeah, so now we're, we're going to add some more coffee yeah. and a little bay leaf. OK. More of the ancho okay. chili, black pepper, cinnamon, minced fresh garlic, quartered Spanish onion, salt. This is tomato juice, good red wine, red wine vinegar, and then lime juice. This is going to help break down the brisket. It's also going to incorporate a lot of flavor. Add enough water where it almost reaches the top of the brisket. Tin foil to the top of this. This is going to go in the oven at 275 for about four hours. One ounce. Cool. Yes. <laughs> so amazing. We're going to take the jus, strain it for your taco. So now we have a little piece of this beef brisket. Start pulling it apart yeah. and shredding it. It's time for us to make a taco. Let's do it. A cassoulet dish with stewed peppers, onions. Take this brisket, yeah. pile it on top, add some of that jus that we set aside. You want to get some more flavor. The lime wedge, queso fresco, slightly salty. And then on the side, corn tortillas. I'm liking this, man. This is fun. I'm done. It's over. That machaca is so amazingly tender. The way that coffee and those ancho chilies grill up, the way they caramelize, and then you braise it, even with more coffee and more ancho chili, all those flavors mix into the brisket itself and make the most savory, spicy meat I've ever had. I'm so happy right now. Thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate it.